Hi and welcome to another training session. In this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure Android to work with NetBeans, the IDE. As you can see I have the sample project open. Um, now this is the finished project uh, and it all works except since I'm in a virtual machine and I haven't I guess configured it correctly the emulator isn't going to work but if you were to hit play the emulator would come up. You can configure the emulators in the ABD manager. And it looks like something like this. So it's basically a phone that you can control when you're testing your project. So I'm going to go ahead and remove everything Android on this computer and uh, and then show you how to install it and configure it. Resuming now uh, NetBeans ha and the Android ha and Java has all been uninstalled. Uh, one thing you need for Android on your computer is the uh, Android Software Development Kit which is the SDK uh, but also the Java uh, the, uh, the Java Development Kit, the JDK. Uh, if you were to go to the NetBeans and just download NetBeans IDE, the current version today is 8.1. You would want the Java SE version, just having the basics of Java, because of course Android is built on Java. Uh, you could get everything if you'd like, uh, but it's about a little bit more than twice the size. Um, if you want the minimal version, though, you just want the Java, uh, the NetBeans IDE. That's what you'll download. But uh, Java, if you were to download the JDK, you could download it separately, or you could actually get the NetBeans with the JDK uh, as one bundle, a one package. And I'm often cautious about doing this because I wonder if NetBeans is up to date and JDK is up to date. Uh, I have done the a uh, little bit of research to find out that yes, they are uh, up to date. So let's go ahead and get the JDK with the NetBeans 8.1 package. Um, this is on the Java website, the oracle.com, but if you go to Google, you search for JDK download and it will take you here. Let's download it for Windows. It's 306 megabytes. As you can see, I went ahead and skipped the boring parts where it downloaded. I initialized the installation. Uh, so we're going to try to uh, set up JDK now, the Java Development Kit. And you want to install the NetBeans IDE, uh, the current version 8.1. So let's go ahead and install. While I'm letting this install, let's look at the Android SDK. A few options pop up here, but if you were to actually go to the Google's official website they really try pushing something called Android Studio. Uh, it's, it's sometimes difficult to find the Android SDK alone just to be able to install it. Uh, and that isn't to say that the Android Studio is bad. In fact it has uh, actually been quite improved over the years. And I probably will use Android Studio, but this video is about installing Android on NetBeans. Uh, so you go here and you, you want to download the Android Studio. And I may make a future video about downloading Android Studio. But let's actually get the SDK for Android. I particularly like the this one, the filehippo.com. It's sim it's simply just been the easiest for me to get to. Uh, definitely, uh, if you you can download the Android Studio if you'd like.
we have reached the end of our installation of NetBeans. It did take quite a while because we had to also install JDK with it. And if you were to look at the time of the, the pausing of the recording of the video, you'll be able to see how long it actually took. Um, let's not go ahead and check that box and click finish. We have already downloaded the SDK. Let's go ahead and install it. The, the Android SDK, uh, as far as my experience goes, takes the longest. So of course, I will pause the video uh, when the installation comes up and let it go ahead and install. But I want to show you the interface also. Uh, you can choose either one you want. I choose install anyone for this computer. Uh, go ahead and click next for the destination. Yes, install. We want to start the SDK manager uh, actually in a few minutes um, because I'll show you why. Uh, I actually won't show it, technically show you, but let's go ahead and click it. Let's not start it right now. Because there is something very important that I actually learned the hard way. We we need the SDK manager to install the Android libraries for Java to be able to use and for Net, NetBeans to be able to use. Yeah, actually, oh, uh, I did not mean to do that. We need, let's right click on it. And click, you would run as administrator because what you'll run into is when you start installing these Android packages, it will tell you that either permission denied or URL not found. What I had found to be the solution is to run it as the administrator. So I will actually set the shortcut in this program to run as the administrator. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just do this. Now we could run it and we shouldn't have any issues uh, installing packages. It searches for all these packages now. Yes. So this is the SDK manager for Android. You have different API versions of Android. If you go way back, you're looking at like an earlier version of the Android. Uh, so we're just going to leave it at default uh, for one because we have lack of space, but also for time uh, management. But you could certainly choose an earlier version of Android if you need backwards compatibility. So we have Android 6, aka API 23 selected, and then we have this other version here. Uh, we don't have very much here selected except the support library, and that's needed on many applications. Let's go ahead then and uh, say install 22 packages. You could also delete the one package that's already installed. We're just going to install them. You want to accept the licenses, click install. This will install all of the Android items you need for your system. And uh, like I say, this probably takes the longest. It needs to download everything and then also install it. Android has installed now and we need to go ahead and open up NetBeans IDE and NetBeans uses plugins so we need to install the Android plugin for NetBeans. While it's loading NetBeans there is one configuration we need to make. Let's, it's called NB Android now. Uh, let's say plugin for, uh, for yeah that's what it is plugin for NetBeans. I clicked on the first entry that came up, it actually might be the second. Uh, nope, this is it. So let's look at, we need this because we're using the NetBeans 8.1 or newer. This is the, the path that it uses to find the plugin. 
Uh, it says help us improve. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, no, thank you. So we go to tools in NetBeans and we go to plugins. It won't be in here by default. That's why we need to uh, modify the plugin settings. And let's go ahead and add this path that we just created. Or uh, actually just copied. So that's the path it's going to look for. And under name, let's just call it this. Uh, we can name it whatever we want because it's going to appear in here. So now under available plugins, we should be able to search for Android and find it. There it is. Let's go ahead and also install the Gradle support. A Gradle is kind of unique. It's a uh, it's different. I don't know exactly how it works, but it's a, it included often in Android to make life easier. Then we click install. Now it's going to tell you it's installing these plugins. And this is to get Android to work with NetBeans, which later we will need to configure it to uh, to use the Android SDK we just installed. It's asking if you want to install uh, self-signed or unsigned um, items in this plugin, and that's okay. Uh, you want to go ahead and restart. It's going to do that for you automatically. It's unpacking and, and uh, updating the, the plugins that we just installed. NetBeans is up and running again. As you can see so far in this video, many steps are involved to install Android on NetBeans. Uh, as I said before, you might go ahead and install the, the Android Studio uh, where that Google provides for you to be able to develop Android apps. But we're not finished yet. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Android is in here. Let's create an Android project, a brand new one. Uh, so I, you can see that I was playing around with it earlier. It's created an Android application too. Uh, we just leave everything default. Name the package, what you want to name your package. That's for me. Uh, it says Android SDK location has, has to be specified. So you manage Android SDK here. Th these are your settings and you want to browse to find your location uh, for your SDK. Mine happens to be here. It doesn't recognize your settings right away. Uh, I just hit back and then hit next. And it wants you to select your target so now you're developing this particular application for Android 6. That's it. Now when you want to test your Android application, you would hit the play button. Uh, or you can go to run and then run project. But you don't have an emulator set up. Like an actual phone uh, that you could play with here on screen. So that's called the AVD Manager. Android Virtual Device Manager. And this is where you set it up. And like I said before, uh, I'm in this virtual machine here using VirtualBox. It just hasn't been working. You have to throw up all kinds of errors. But that's really all you do to get Android set up on NetBeans. Uh, it looks like it kept my settings from earlier, even though I uninstalled the software. But basically, this would come up blank normally, and you hit create, and you can create an emulator. So you go through these settings here 
uh, which I'm not going to do right now. And then when you hit play, it will uh, start the emulator for you and the whole works. Uh, obviously though, if you have any questions, uh, leave comments uh, below the video. Or if you like this video, you thought it was helpful, uh, leave a thumbs up. Or if you dislike it and you just really didn't think it was helpful, uh, leave a thumbs down. Uh, that would really help improve the quality of my videos.